Week 23, traders. My pleasure to tell you, AGs broke out. A downward wedge panners, no more. We're headed up. Let's get something straight. The rally started in March. Yeah, it's taking a while. I get it. It's all going to be worth it. No one said this is going to be easy. It has it. We earned it. It's on the way. AG's now above the 200 EMA, above the pivot point for the month. Buyers are stepping in over and over again. Woo! Never left the streets, baby. Yeah, it took its time. It's gone the distance. Here it comes, baby. Here it comes. Woo! AG's daily chart since December 20th, 2016. We have ourselves a breakout. You can see near number six, we broke out, retested that upper resistance trend line. Buyers have stepped back in. Stochastic still have not come down to the oversold area since hit five. I have an arrow right where I believe the rally started in March. I have zero question marks about that. Now I'm looking at AG's price above the 200, above the monthly pivot point, means strength. Stochastics are heading back up to the overbought area, and we know why, because there are nothing but buyers. We have the pivot point resistance lines above us at 772, 816, 920. I believe we're just going to topple those over and keep heading up. Why not? Relative strength's heading up. MACD is above the divergence line. I confirmed a breakout. Stay with this. It, it's headed up. I have zero question marks about that. And I see the dollar losing strength heavily. And I have an updated sheet at the end that I'm going to show you guys with the U.S. dollar and the silver futures. We're going to compare those. Things could not look better. We deserve everything that we're going to receive out of this, and I believe we're going to receive a lot. A lot. This is going to be worth it for me. I can't guarantee it yet, but I have no question marks. What a beautiful pattern. Up, up, and away, baby. Dio's daily chart since the double bottom. Do I believe I got this right? You bet your sweet ass I do. I have three consecutive hits on a lower support trend line since the double bottom. And I remember calling that double bottom around that number one. This could not look better and we are headed back up for that resistance line around the $20 marker. And once DO breaks that $20 marker, the resistance, $26 is going to happen pretty damn quick. What happens after the 26? I believe it's going up, up, and away. Why? Because oil is in a rally. Why? The U.S. dollar is getting weaker. Why? Who the hell cares? It is. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar daily chart since December 20th, 2016. Only time will tell if I was right in spreading the word on what I thought with these stocks. But I got a damn good feeling I am already. We have three lower highs in the U.S. dollar. And in the long term, I believe that this baby's crashing to the $76 right around there. And I can, in a few seconds here, I'm going to show you why. Let's just take a look. Soak it up. Stochastics are not in the oversold area right now, which means there is more room for this to drop. Relative strength's been dropping. MACD is above the divergence line, but headed down and separating. Looks great. I think I got a damn good feeling we are headed in the right direction, folks. And I'm going to prove to my family and friends I've had this damn thing right for a long time. And all the flack I've taken, <laughs> let's just say I'm going to have some fun for the rest of my life. I believe so. And here's the most important charts that I think we have. 45 years of proof 
that there is an inverse effect between the silver futures and the U.S. dollar. Uh, if you don't believe a word I've said uh, this entire time, take a look for yourself. I don't believe I need to talk much longer on this. I believe everything's right here in front of your face. And one of the more important facts that I see is that the silver futures keep bouncing off that 18-year support trend line. And the way I do things is I have to lay my money on the most reasonable it just seems reasonable again that the buyers are going to step back in because they need to make money seems pretty dangerous to start selling silver right here considering buyers have stepped in for 18 years right in this area and i have the december 20th 216 2016 marked and that's where I decided to step in. That's where I seen the silver futures. I thought tagging that 18 year support trend line in the US dollar, I thought was tagging the upper resistance. That's where I believe was the most reasonable spot to pick and get into AG. Take a look for yourself. You know, If you're gonna go to some analyst and read what they have to say, are you using the same one every single time? Are you just finding an analyst where Finally, you hear what you want to hear. This looks this looks solid to me, absolutely solid. I will not move. I believe until I see those silver futures heading up to that upper resistance trend line again. It can it can happen. There's no doubts about it. It could fail. There's no doubts about that. I don't see failure. I don't believe it. Redemption's on the way.